Hey everyone, it's Caitlin, and today's video is going to be a quick what I eat in a day video. So I started out my morning with some journaling, I watched a few YouTube videos, and I had this delicious breakfast of berries. So in this bowl I have some lychees, some cherries, some jaboti kava, and some umami berries. They're also known as gooseberries. And I had all those, and on the side I had this banana. It is a Orinoco banana, so it's a little bit creamier than a regular banana, and it's tinier too, obviously. So yep, I just snacked on these berries while I did the things I already mentioned. And the berries didn't quite fill me up, so I had some clementines as well right afterwards. Then for lunch, I decided to make a smoothie bowl, so I chopped up some frozen bananas. Then I used half of this giant mango that I had left in the fridge, so I just cut that up and diced it. And I was kind of hungry, so I just ate the middle part right there. But then I saved part of the mango for toppings for the smoothie bowl and I put the rest in the blender with the bananas and I just blended that up, popped it in my bowl and put some toppings on it. I used mango, some pink pitaya, and some caramelized bikinis as well. And that's what it all looked like here. And this was super delicious. I love smoothie bowls or banana ice creams and it was super thick and creamy just the way I like it. Look at that. So good. Then as an afternoon snack, I had this little jar of some homemade kombucha. Part one of dinner was some romaine lettuce with some veggies, and I topped it with a little bit of this leftover salsa I had from Trader Joe's. It's a black bean and corn salsa. So I just put that on top and mixed it all together and ate that while the other part of my dinner was cooking, which was this bowl of purple sweet potatoes. These are seriously so good. I didn't even need to dip them in anything. They're super sweet and they kind of taste like vanilla on the inside. And the potatoes themselves are even more purple than this. I broke one open to show you guys just how vibrant it is. It's seriously amazing. And then for dessert, I had this last slice of a raw vegan mango and lime cheesecake that I made for myself for my birthday. I just wanted to get it out of the fridge and it was super delicious. All right guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.